My name is Martin Lambert Ballingay. I hail from the Gumbanga tribe, the gateway from the south of the Gumbanga nation. I just like to say Ginagay, uh, Ginagay, New Jawan, Girwa. That means uh, welcome all you mob. And Daroy, Nyanunda, I mean, uh, it's good to see you. Uh, it came about, uh, I guess, from my brother and Tommy Evans from uh, Lloyd McDermott. We were up uh, at a second tier IRB uh, tournament in Papua New Guinea. Yeah, they came up against some pretty good sides from all over the Pacific Islands. You know, full on Tongan sides and sides from Vanuatu. And thought that we need to be a little bit more competitive if we went up again. Um, and they very, very quickly uh, decided we should run, a, 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 I guess, a, a sevens tournament. Called it obviously after after the three of us. Um, and with the, with the hope of then of putting a squad together to go up in November and compete probably at an even level. So I mean this is the first time it's happened. Uh, it was put together probably within two or three months. Uh, we're pretty happy with I guess what we've achieved so far but certainly in the next couple of years we hope to make it bigger and better. We only thought about it uh, last November and really got going mid-November mid into December, January. Well obviously it's Christmas so it was very quiet time. So our lead time was very short but we're very happy with our results. And you know, we're looking at doing this on a permanent basis, so we'll have 12 months next year. It started off small, we've got 12 teams. Next year we're expecting 16, especially in the men's and 18 in the women's. And then, then going from there, you know, we want to run this over two days with 24 teams. That's where we want to be at the end of the day. We're looking to pick a, an Aboriginal, an All-Australian Aboriginal side to compete in a, an International Sevens tournament in Papua New Guinea. So the best way to do that is bring all the players together into one spot. Oh, that's a really good feeling. Everybody's sort of happy. Uh, it's, it's fairly low key, but uh, everybody's enjoying the rugby. There's some, you know, some decent talent out there, and I think uh, yeah, everybody just enjoying the, the nice weather and, uh, and the golf at uh, Coffsart. It's really good. Look, I was initially very uh, nervous and uh, probably a lot excited. You know, the weather wasn't that flash the last couple of days, especially in Sydney, and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. But you know, to get uh, teams from around uh, New South Wales and Queensland into uh, Coffs Harbour was always going to be a big ask, but we come through and, the, and you know, they're putting the performance on the field. Well, I think you've only got to put Union and the Ellers together, and I mean, that's that's pretty much it there. And for them to come out and do something like this in a community of Coffs Harbour, I think is great, fantastic, and you've seen the support that they've got. Uh, just talking to a few of the boys then, I've actually just got into town, so I'm looking forward to getting out there and getting a, amongst it, a little bit of contact out there. So it's going to be exciting, but... Um, what I think the buzz and the, what it's sort of generated within this community has been fantastic. I'm just, I was so excited I just didn't sleep too much in the last two nights because I'm looking forward to it and I'm going to be doing paperwork and talking to the players you know? and I'm quite excited about it because this is what I've been dreaming of. Yeah, it took me a long time, it's nearly 10 years, yeah? it's been 25 years ago since I played and that's when we folded, you know, so we had a... That's a long time between then and now to get many of the little Aboriginal players to play rugby union, you know, so that's fantastic. And some of our kids who played with us today they went away to school in Sydney, Riverview, St Ignatius and Hunters Hill, you know, so they all played in Sydney, rugby union, so. And then they come back home, they want to bring it back home and share it back home, you know. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Yeah. It's, going to, it's a great atmosphere. Everybody's ready to play and that. Should be some good games. Yes, it's great. It's great to see some of them, some teams from here. And it's great to see the Waterloo side came up. And I know some of the young fellas when they were little kids in the book. And Darwin, we've seen some of the Darwin boys. It's great to see them coming from a long way to come down. It's fantastic. Yeah, we're all pretty excited. It's good that... um. Because we all play in the rugby league tournament, so it's good to come up and actually play rugby union. You know, I've seen some of the women team in the country side and the cops side, side, that's fantastic. <laughs> so we may even bring a Nambaka lady side up next year. You know, so that's great. That's, that's how ensued I am about the whole knockout this weekend. Aboriginal women have always played league and like contact sport. We like it because we grow up with our brothers. Our brothers all play league, union. So yeah, I don't know, it's just normal. <laughs> 
so exciting because there's not much girl rugby, so I always try to play whenever I can. Not many Indigenous women play rugby union, we more play rugby league. I don't know, hopefully this will build up a bit of momentum to get more people involved with rugby union. Because especially for, for women, there's more, um, there's more opportunities with rugby union for women to travel and yeah, play representative levels. Mate, they're excited. I mean, I mean, a couple of them are a bit bewildered because they haven't played rugby before, but definitely excited. I mean, as I said, it's a great, great opportunity for our boys to um, get out there and you know, show their talent and skill, uh, you know, from the Northern Rivers area. To be truthful, not a lot of the Indigenous players play, play rugby. Obviously, rugby league is, is their main game, and that's probably why we chose uh, this form of the game because it's a lot of fun and, and it introduces a lot of Indigenous rugby players, or a lot of Indigenous sports people, to rugby. Uh, and yeah, hopefully they'll they'll get to enjoy it and, and come back next year. Well, rugby needs it. If you look at uh, Aboriginals, Indigenous people in general, there's a lot of them playing rugby league at the highest level. AFL is a big sport by anything, and there's not a lot of Aboriginals playing rugby. So we want to give these guys that have played league just a touch of rugby and say, hey, this is good. And there might be an opportunity for them to then get selected in the teams and travel the world. I think league's got more of the Aboriginal players in it, but it won't be long till rugby's up there as well. Yeah, it is because um, it's, I mean, it's grown along the, it's, the sports grown among the indigenous people, and so yeah, that's always good. Start start young. It's good to see a lot of the black fellas actually getting into rugby now. Obviously, rugby can get very structured, especially sevens. They just it's like a game of touch, and they can express themselves as just a bit of contact. So this game this game soon. When we played, uh, we played rugby league as kids as well, but we found that rugby, you get the ball in your hands a lot more and you're running with the ball, so, you know, that's what we want to do. It's fantastic. I think it's a great thing to get the guys interested in rugby union other than rugby league, you know. League has been oriented right in this Nambaka Valley for many years, but since 1984, the inception of rugby union coming back, after 67 years, you know, so that's a big statement in itself. And we've come this far, and we've got a actual, actually got Aboriginal players, Aboriginal men that want to play, and boys who want to learn and play the game of rugby union. And that's it's all right being a league country. You know what I mean? We've got league, this league, that you know, touch this soccer, that, and AFL. But rugby union, I, I was, I was, I was. Um, I was there for a long time on my own in the rugby union world, you know, until for, in, during the duration. And she, one of the players who played in today, number 12, Dean, he was a young player when he came in, when he played against Gloucester. And <clears throat> so the, the importance is it's still there today. And I think we've got enough young fellow to pursue the goals in rugby union being here, OK? I think it will be in to stay for, for a little bit longer now, you know. There's enormous talent, you know, we've got uh, Coffs Harbour, the locals, Coffs Harbour, Kim, Sydney and Bucker Heads. We've got a few teams in Sydney, you've got Queensland, Moree and you've got uh, Northern Territory as well. So, you know, and that's what we want to do. We want to give Bill Miller, the Australian Simmons coach, out here having a look. Give him a chance to see that there are some talent out there and Australian rugby needs it. For us it's important. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're tapped the first time it's um, been held and, um, I mean, I think it's a, a great, great opportunity for, for our boys from Aaron to show that we, you know, our talent, I think. Um, a lot of our boys are all rugby league sort of backgrounds, but we've got, we've got a bit of a mix today with uh, probably half rugby league and half rugby union guys. So we're going to learn today as well as every other team. I think that's a part of this. But um, as far as the experience itself, it's made, it's, you know, enormous for our guys. I think it's a great opportunity, as I said, for our guys to show some of their, their talent down, in the, uh, down this end of the world. That's what I was saying to the other boys. I said, you can go a little bit further than where you are going today. I said, this is a big step in your life now. Being up here, you know, you've got the Glen Ellis and the Gary Ellis and uh, all looking at it today, you know, this is, you know, they're here to uh, encourage what you want to pursue, you know, so, and I think it's about time, you know, something like this being done. Oh, there's so many talented Indigenous rugby players, whether they're males or females, you know, and, and this Young is a good old. thing, it can only get bigger yep. and better. The more, Young the merrier. Oh, talent all over the place. It's no surprising to see the talent out here today, and um, more events, more talent, more players for uh, World Rugby, Australian Rugby. You know, this is Kirtley Bill, he's one of the players that are sort of showing, leading the way so far, you know. Only youngin', but he's... You know, already up there in the 
They're the best players in the world, I reckon. Sport, regardless of what code, it's the circuit breaker, isn't it? It's that social break, it's that social interaction that you get with your teammates, it's that acceptance you get in the community because you're, you know, you're part of uh, the team, you're part of the community, you know, and, it, and you fit in. You know? Guys who, who are different to start with in a lot of communities and then, and then are not playing sport, it's very difficult for them. Um, you know, a lot of our heroes are sports people. Um, you know, a lot of our guys are accepted socially, all sports people. So, you know, it, it, is, it is great. It is great to have role models um, in, in communities. It's great for our community to come out and actually watch those guys play because it, uh, it fits, fills them with a sense of pride. And, you know, it's, it's, Australia is a great place that, you know, if you put the hard work in, you know, you can do anything, basically. You can, you can actually come out and compete at, at the highest levels. You just need to work for it. And I think by, with, with sport, I think you're actually capable of doing that, um, you know, and, and there's probably more opportunities there for a, a lot of Aboriginal kids, so it's, sport is very vital to, to Aboriginal people. It is good, and I mean, we talk about everything's uh, you know, generational, and you know, Glen Gary and I had, had our fun, and there's a couple of other players the other day, in the, even in the Golden Olders that we used to play against, so it's good to see the next generation uh, of young rugby players coming through, and it, yeah, it gives us hope, and uh, they're enjoying it, there's some good talent out there, so we can't complain. Well, uh, what I grew up was is black and white TV, and uh, I used to watch the Ken Cat Cows. You know? I don't know who else was around in the day, but I, Ken Catpole was the name that, yeah. And one of my biggest fans was played, I was always a fan of uh, Eddie Jones, who played with uh, Randwick in Sydney, Randwick Rugby Union. So, <clears throat> and Ella's brother played there too, but Eddie was my uh, inspiration in my walking skills as well. So, And I'm a little bit late started than him, but. I adopted this style in Auckland in Rugby Union, so I had to switch from league to Rugby Union. See, I used to play Rugby Union Saturday and then league on Sunday, so I do, I'm a very fit guy, very energetic guy. It gives you an opportunity to sort of out, um, stand out and that and play with some people you may not get to see, but you see them, you know, during Lloyd McDermott and that. Yeah, no, it's deadly, it's deadly to see all black fellas coming together and playing sports against each other. It's unreal. And like just being healthy in that too, you know. The importance of being in an Indigenous only competition is um, is obviously um, a great thing for us as Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people, but I think, you know, that's an opportunity for us to share our culture with, with yeah. other people as well, you know, so. I mean, you know, if, if at any stage it does change where, you know, you can have one or two players that are not indigenous, I think that's a great thing as well, so. Sun River gets to play against your own people and um, represent your communities and, yeah, it's good. It's a mad feeling. It only can get better and it can only build relations as well. I think it's getting on a, on a bigger scale. I've seen people here that I haven't seen in years, so... And I've seen boys, like, that I play football with all the time. But... It's good to see people from everywhere to get here. I, I didn't, I didn't think it'd be that like people from so far away would come, but it's good to see a fair few different places here. All my nieces, nieces and nephews up here. My sister in law here, Mark's wife. <laughs> Brother-in-law's over here. Sisters, look at them over here. They're hanging Think out. There it is. You got them all. Oh. All the yellows, they're everywhere. To be able to all come together for, for something that um, can bring a community together in, in terms of what sport does, I think it's been fantastic. And these are often the good times when you, when you do meet. So, I mean, you sort of take it in and go, well, mate, let's get out and have a bit of fun. We've had uh, Aboriginal Rugby League knockouts, there's touch football, there's Oztag, there's all those things, there's never sevens. Um, and it is because you know, when my son got here, he knew half the other teams, you know, they do all slap him because they've come through the Lloyd McDermott program. There's 15, 16 year olds and then they've got older and they've met the kids they used to play with and compete against them, so it's fantastic. Yeah, no, Lloyd McDermott obviously was an inspiration to, to I guess, rugby players everywhere. But, you know, he was the first Aboriginal to, to represent Australia, playing for the Wallabies, I think, in the late 50s. Um, and you know, we started the Lord McDermott uh, Aboriginal team, or well, the foundation, basically to to improve the opportunities for Indigenous rugby players. So, Lord has done an awful lot uh, to promote rugby to the Indigenous community, and uh, you know, 
being the first you know, Aboriginal to play for Australia is, is a big thing, so yeah, we look up to them. Well, Lloyd is the person was the first Aboriginal to play uh, for Australia for the Wallabies, you know, that's unbelievable. It's a, it's a big step and it took a long time for the next Aboriginal, but you know, it's been a long time since Jimmy Williams and Lloyd Walkers and uh, probably us and, and, and uh, Andrew Walker, you know, we need Aboriginals in the national team on a regular basis, whether it's 15s and uh, at 7s. I never anticipated it can be at this big level, you know, so it's really great to see that at this level it's great to see uh, a sevens on the, but this is the first time seven been on the North Coast and it's about time, you know, so hopefully the Lloyd McDermott uh, group will encourage us to come back in the next four years, I believe they are going to do it. And I think we'll, my team will come back a bit stronger and better. And it's great for Mid-North Coast Rugby Union too, to see so many uh, talented players come here and so many new ones who want to participate and uh, follow in the Rugby Union steps, yeah, so it's great. You know, next year, with, with, with time on our side and a lot more communication, particularly right around the country, you know, we'll have a lot more teams from Queensland, far north Queensland, and certainly more teams from Darwin, and that's what we want to do, encourage it to be, I guess, in terms of a sevens presence, an Indigenous sevens presence, make it the, you know, the biggest uh, Indigenous uh, rugby tournament uh, in Australia, and, and that'll happen in time. But well, I think there is a great future here, there will be a great future, because the people like me that hang around and stay around, that will encourage the game of the rugby union. I think uh, we can mould uh, good players, we can mould better citizens than some of the young ones and make them a better mentor for the rest of the community members. The most important thing for me too is my brother-in-law's Mark Lemon Gary. Uh, putting something back into the community. Uh, 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 always been the supporters of the uh, Lloyd McDermott uh, rugby development. And uh, to have a tournament named in their honour, I think, is a great, great recognition of what they've achieved. But, uh, you know, again, it's about putting something back and creating an opportunity for other young fellas. So you never know. And you've seen the talent that's out here. Awesome. Well, they're out there, they're having a great time. You know, they're playing four to five games, six games. Um, you know, they're going to be pretty tired later on, but we need to get to a certain level. And, and after the guys played this, it's going to be broadcast on your channel, obviously, so we can get other people to have a look at it and say, well, this is fantastic, we want to be here next year. Start off slow this year, it's going to be bigger next year, bigger next year. You know, we'll have Super 40 franchises here, having a look at uh, these players, you know, because they're untapped potential. Yari yara nya ya yari karo ya kanga kanga ki yeah that means that's like a welcome and goodbye song at the same time that is written by the more by elder groups you know so uh, I just say ginagai nujoran giwo that means daroi nujawan nino that means uh, Hello, welcome all you more. Uh, good to see you all. Okay, thank you.